fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. days of the western United States, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order. His strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, and above all, his sense of fair play made him the greatest champion of justice the frontier ever knew. Any man who deserved a second chance could always depend on the help of the Lone Ranger. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Sunburns! There's going to be trouble! Oh, Silver! Away! It was long past midnight. And Drummond, the rancher, had been asleep for hours. Nothing broke the deep silence except his heavy breathing and, in the distance, the mournful cry of a wolf. Suddenly, however, there came the faint creaking sound of a slowly opening door. And with the sound, faint as it was, the rancher became wide awake in an instant. He neither moved nor cried out. His heart was pounding wildly, and fear took possession of his whole being. Sleep, Tim. Was nothing. Huh? Nothing? But them shots. I fired him. Had a bad dream. I didn't know what I was doing. But boss, didn't you what I told you? I was dreaming. Was nothing. Run back to sleep. Let me be. Sure, boss. Sure. Well? Oh, I was just thinking. Thinking what? Look over there. Huh? I ain't doubting your word, boss. But if you fired them shots and kicked out that window in your dream. <laughs> 
It must have been a corker. house where those shots were fired. Uh, what do we do? He'll pass us. Uh, get your rope ready. Me rope him? If he doesn't stop willingly, yes. Let uh, me get him. Quiet. Come on, boy. Come on, get up there. Get up there, boy. Come on there, boy. Get up. Pull up there. What? Get up, Tyler. Get going now. Get him, Tyler. Get him, Tyler. Come on there. Get... Oh, hey. Good work, Tyler. Hold him. Come on, sir. Get him up, Scout. Get this rope off of me. Let me go with you. You're choking me. Let me go. I tell you. Sit still. You... It makes the move, Tyler. Pull him out of the saddle. Ah, oh, don't do it. I'll take those. Hey, give me back those guns. They're safer with me. No, Keep I'll... still. All right, Tyler. You can loosen the rope. He's harmless. Ah. All right, stranger. Lift the loop over your head. There. Is this a holdup? No. Then what in thunder you stop me for? You're taking a ride. Huh? Back to the ranch house where those shots were fired. Now get going. to get a man out of bed. These the fellas, Tim? Uh-huh, and I couldn't help it, boss. They said they wouldn't go till I called you. Mm. Well, what do you want? Tell him and I heard shots fired in this house. We saw this man racing away. We caught him and brought him back. There's been trouble. Trouble? I... Trouble? I don't know what you're talking about. You mean to say there hasn't been trouble? None that I know of. Then what was the reason for that firing? Just an accident. Yes? Toto, bring that fellow here. Uh... You come. Uh, no need to push uh, me. Who's this? That's what I expect you to tell me, Drummond. He's the man I said we saw escaping. I told you before, I don't know what you're talking about. No? Well, take a good look at him. Recognize him? I... Well? I... I never saw the man before in my life. You seen what your medal done got you? What do you figure you're going to do with me now? Let you go. Yeah? Well, then you better give me back the gun. Take them. <laughs> Mighty kind of you. I unloaded them. Oh. Well? Go on, Mount. You're free. <clears throat> you're ready to admit you made a mistake? It looks as if I did, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, then maybe next time, mister, you'll be a mite more careful before you start butting in where you ain't asked. Maybe. Adios. Get up, boy. Get up there. Come on, get up, boy. Why you let him go? For reasons of my own, Tutter. They didn't fool me. Uh, Drummond recognized that fellow. I'd swear to it. Not what Tonto think. And there was trouble here. Not right. They both kept silent. Why? That's what we're going to find out. Tonto, this fellow we just let go. Have you ever seen him before? No, me no see him. I think I have. Where? Not in person, Kimasabe, but on a reward poster. Him outlaw? According to the poster, both a thief and a murderer. Oh, that's bad. But sometimes, Tonto, the law makes mistakes. What you mean? He was angry with us, of course. But allowing for that, would you have taken him for a crook, Tonto? Him not look like crook. That's what I mean. Come, Tonto. We've given him enough lead. We'll follow him. Why do that? He's the man I think he is. Uh-huh. We'll learn the truth about this affair before morning. Come on, sir. Get him up, Scout. Come on, old fellow. Come on. It was still an hour before dawn, and the man who had been captured and released by the Lone Ranger approached a small cabin near the village of Sundance. In spite of the hour, a lamp had been lighted inside. 
And the yellow glow revealed a young woman bent over a rough crib. She spoke soothingly to the child that lay in it. There, honey, there. Don't cry. Mother didn't mean to wake you up. Go to sleep now like a good little girl. Oh, that's better. Sleep. I'll be quiet, honey. I won't wake you up again. I'll be just as quiet as I can. There, honey. Sleep. Who's there? Shouldn't be anyone stopping here this early. Who? Iris. Oh. Honey, don't be mad. I had to see you. I tell you I had to. Mark. Listen, honey. Get out. No, I you tell you. You murderer. Iris, look here. I've got something to say to you, and you're going to listen whether you like it or not. You're stronger than I am. I don't suppose I can make you go against your will. You really think I killed Sam? You ran away, didn't you? I had to. They'd have hung me. They usually hang killers. But I tell you, I never done it. Why should I believe that? Ain't it the place of a woman to stand up for the man she marries? When he deserts her before they've been married a year? But doggone it all. How could I help it? By going straight. Oh, you don't even know what really happened. I think I do. Yeah, what? When you saw all that gold, the temptation was too much. You thought you had to have it for yourself. Sam was the only man with you at the time. You you killed him to, to get him out of the way. You're willing to hear my side of it? I'll listen. Sam and Drummond and me went prospecting together. Agreeing to split everything we found three ways. I know. Well, it was Sam found that placer deposit. Must have been over 20,000 in it. Almost pure gold. Drummond had been to town for supplies. When he seen what we'd located, it was him that got greedy. It was him that killed Sam. The storekeeper testified that Mr. Drummond was in town on the day Sam was killed. Are you claiming that he lied? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so, but... But he did make a mistake. <laughs> well, mistakes like that have been made before. He just got mixed up. That's how Drummond got an alibi and how the law figured I was the only one that could have done Sam in. Mark, I... I'm afraid I don't believe you. No? Well, then tell me this. If Drummond didn't drill Sam, how'd he get a hold of that gold? I don't know that he did. Well, if he didn't, where'd he get the cash to clear out of California and buy this ranch he's got, huh? I... Well, I... Yeah. And that's another thing. What are you doing in this part of the country? Did Drummond... Mr. Drummond isn't even acquainted with me. And I came here before he did. The fact that he's here too, well... Well, it's just a coincidence. Does he know you're here? I suppose he's heard of me. But I'm sure it's never occurred to him that I'm your wife. Yes, Mark, and how did you find me? I'd hoped I'd gone so far we'd never meet again. Just found you because I was hunting Drummond. Just by accident. Hunting Drummond? That's what I said. Mark, you don't mean... What you're thinking is right. He's got two things to pay for. Sam's murder and his putting the blame on me. Well, the law won't collect, so I will. No, Mark, you can't. Why not? You, you'd be a murderer. Well, ain't there supposed to be one now? What's the use of the name without the game? I reckon I can go... Hey, Iris. Does that mean you believe that now I, I ain't a killer? Does that mean you've changed your mind that, that you believe me? Oh, Mark, I don't know what to think. <laughs> oh, honey, you, you're trying to hate me, but, but you just can't. Drummond having the money to buy a ranch. Well, I'd never thought of it just that way before. But don't you see how that proves what I said? Perhaps. You can just bet it does. I... Hey, what's that? Your daughter, Mark. What? She was born after you'd left us. Well, well I'll be... Gosh, a, a young one. We've missed you, Mark. Mark, the way you're looking. Mark, what is it? Drummond. Raymond, me. If I'd have been caught, I'd never lived to know I had a daughter. Wait. The rotten yellow coyote. You, you can't. Now I'll finish him if I have to hang for it. Well, oh. not just yet. You again. You're coming with me. Hey, let go. Yeah, don't you let... dare touch my husband. Don't you dare harm him. Come along with you. Let go of me. He'll not be harmed. Come back. Come back. I'm Come taking back. him with me to save him from harm. Let go. With you. Let go of me. Come, Tonto. Get him. I'll silver. Away. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Not 
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger returned to his camp with Tonto and Mark, and as the sun rose in the east, he questioned his prisoner. So far, Mark, you've told me nothing that you hadn't already told your wife. You left unanswered the one thing I want to know. Yeah, and what's that? The law wants you in California for murder. During the night, you made an attempt on Drummond's life. Yet, in spite of those things, Drummond refused to identify you. Why? He didn't dare. No? I've got too much on him. Too tarnation bad I didn't know what I know now before me and Sam agreed to go partners with a skunk. What is it you know? Drummond's wanted in California just as bad as I am. Yes? Only under another name. He used to head a gang of claim jumpers. Why, if they drilled one miner, I'll bet they drilled a dozen. One of the worst gangs them parts ever seen. Then Drummond isn't his name. No. He took that when things got too hot for him around Frisco and he vamoosed. Joined up with me and Sam back in the hills, figuring being with us would keep him from being suspicioned. We'd always had pretty fair reputations. I see. But when Sam found that placid deposit... Drummond turned crook and killer again. You're sure of your facts? As certain sure as I am that one day I'll see the polecat planted in Boot Hill. Do you know that Drummond was once an outlaw and it can be proved? Why don't you report it to the authorities? Wouldn't be what I want. I've got to pay him off myself. Because it'd mean giving myself up. So you still mean to get him, huh? I do and will. Haven't you forgotten something? Huh? What? If you're innocent, he's the only man who can prove it. If he dies before the truth is revealed... You'll never clear your name. You never will, anyhow. There's always a chance. <laughs> one in a million, maybe. Perhaps. But if it were just one in ten million... Yeah? It would still be worth the taking. Here, Silver. Hey, stranger, wait. Well? You going after the law? No. If you did a thing like that... Mark, you've got something to learn. What are you going to do? When justice has to be done, I see that it's done in my own way. Hip. Tonto. Mark remains here until I return. Uh, Tonto, watch him. Where you ride? There's a little printing office in town that publishes the Sundance Argus. Uh -huh. I'm stopping there. And then I'll call on a killer. Come on, Silver. Hurry, old fellow. Hurry! Dratted press. Never works right. Tell a piece of paper in the cow country ought to have his head examined. That's what. Got to do everything myself. No cash to hire anybody. In. <laughs> now it's come to bother me. Look here, mister. Didn't you see that sign on the door saying I weren't to be just... Oh, golly. Don't call out. Mass. You're thinking of reaching for that shotgun. Don't. A hold up. No. Then what do you... First, you'll do exactly as I tell you. Why, I... And then we'll see that you tell no one of this visit until it's time. A few hours later, Drummond called to his foreman. Tim? Yeah, boy? Oh, Tim. Didn't I hear somebody just ride up? Yeah, I think you did. Stopped out front, didn't he? I thought so. Ain't heard nobody climb the porch. Take a look, see who it is. Don't see nobody. Hmm? Somebody rode up all right because his horse is there, but he ain't in sight. Recognize the critter? Nope, and if I'd seen him before, I sure wouldn't have forgotten him. What do you mean? You won't see another horse like that one if you live to be a thousand. Go on, take a look at him. Yeah, you need to bother, Drummond. Stay where you are. Hey, Boss, it's that masked man that was here last night. How'd you get in? I left Silver in front to keep your attention while I came in the back. Oh, you keep your hand from that holster. Easy, Tim. No you start anything when a fellow's got the jump on you. Mister, what do you want? I want to know why you denied knowing that young fellow I brought here last night. Hey, uh, well, I didn't know him, that's why. Don't tell me that. But I tell you I've that... learned the truth since. You knew him in California. His name is Mark Loomis. What's more, he's the man who saved the California authorities the expense of a hanging. Eh? You and he went prospecting with a fellow who called himself Sam Yates, didn't you? Oh, yeah, but that's... And not... isn't Mark supposed to have shot Sam? That's what I've been told. Well, sure he did, but then I don't... Why didn't you expose him last night before I let him go? That's my business. Now, I suppose you haven't any idea what's become of him. You're looking for him? Maybe. Well, uh, well, I don't know where he is. Do you? Of course, while he's in this district, he might try to see his wife before he left again. What's that? His wife? Yes. You're acquainted with her, aren't you? Say, that can't Mrs. be... Mrs. Loomis, who lives just outside Sundance? It is. Her 
Mark's wife and I never even guessed it. You still claim you haven't any notion where Mark can be found? Ain't that what I said? Well, if you can't, I'm wasting my time. I'll have to get him without your help. Don't leave this room until I'm gone. Boss, I don't savvy this. If you recognized that fellow last night, why didn't you say so? I thought... I had my reasons. But I... Which same don't concern you. Bring me that paper there on the floor. Huh? Paper? Blind, are you? I... uh, Well, doggone, I didn't see this. Where'd it come from? Dropped from that mask on Brace Parker when he brushed the door. Bring it here. Here you are. Yeah, thanks. Maybe it'll tell us something about who that masked gin is. Printing, ain't it? Huh? Ain't it? Shut up. Sorry, boss. Let me read this. (laughs) <laughs> so this is why he was so doggone anxious to locate Mark. What is it? Settle me a horse. Huh? Get a move on. Hey, you're going someplace? I am. Where, boss? Heard the masked man say that Miss Loomis outside town was Mark's wife, didn't you? Uh-huh. Well, that's where I'm going. I'll kill the boy! Come on, little fellow. Tie Kimosabe! Mark! Oh, oh, Miss Loomis. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh. Mark, I told you that while Drummond lived, there was still a chance to prove your innocence. Mm-hmm, that's what you said. When I said it, you didn't believe me. Well, mister, I suppose you meant well. But I had a plan I didn't explain to you. Mm, a plan? That would clear your name and give you your freedom. Well, I don't savvy. You. You're returning to the cabin where your wife has made her home. But how did when you... When you get there, you'll follow my orders. Now, listen, stranger. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I don't see why if you... You quit to... interrupting long enough to hear me out, you'll understand everything. Yeah? And try to get it the first time. We've no time to spare. You see, Mark, unless I am badly mistaken, Drummond will be at the cabin almost as soon as you are. My husband has told me everything, Mr. Drummond, that you shot him. Not only that, but once you were the head of a gang of cowardly killers, I... But, ma'am, then can't you see where if I meant your husband any harm, I'd have just as much to lose as he would? Maybe. I'm here because I want to be his friend. (laughs) Friend. Well, it's so. I aim to see if the law finds out Mark went to blame for that killing. And what do you expect me to do? He'll be around to see you again, won't he? Perhaps. Then you tell him we've got to have a talk. You tell him if he'll meet me somewhere, as I said, he wouldn't be sorry for it. That's on the level. Well, Tell I... him that, won't you, ma'am? Just promise you'll tell him. You'll know I wouldn't dare to try any kind of a trick. He won't have to tell what? me. Mark. I heard the whole thing from inside that closet. No, no don't shoot, Mark. There ain't no need for that gun. I'm keeping you covered just to play it safe. But I tell you, Mark, The I... only thing you need to tell me is what you wanted to see me for. Mark. Well, I, I treat you rotten, Mark. You did. It's been on my conscience. <laughs> I'd hardly be able to sleep nights lately, thinking about how you was framed. No. Mark, so help me. I, I've made up my mind the law's got to be told the truth. That you killed Sam and I didn't? Yeah. What's your game? There ain't none, Mark. Honest. I meant just what I said. I want to make things right by you. That sounds too thin. You think I'm just trying to get you into town so I can turn you in? You could be. Why would I try a scheme like that? When if I did, you could talk and get me jailed, too. Don't you see I have to be on the level? Don't you? You figured on you and me riding into town? Yeah. And calling on the sheriff? Uh Uh-huh. All right, Drummond. I'll get my horse. But if this is a trick, well, we'll stretch hemp together. Now, just a second, you two. Let me get this straight. You say you're both in California? That's right, Sheriff. If this fellow's wanted back there for a killing... Which he never done, Sheriff. It was me. I drilled Sam Yates it. Well, it was just kind of an accident that Mark got the blame for it. Yeah, mighty funny kind of accident. And what'd you say your handle was? Mark. Mark Loomis. The drummer's been telling me the truth. He's confessed, ain't he, Sheriff? I reckon you've heard plenty of fellas try to lie their way out of a hanging, but you recollect ever hearing anybody try to lie his way into one? I never did. Doggone, that's just what I don't seem to savvy. You drilled this fellow Yates and you're holding to that story, huh? I done it. You know, I'll have to uh, hold you here till I can get word to California and they send somebody after you, don't you? You mean I'll have to be locked up? Didn't expect anything else, did you? Yeah. Well, that's all right, I guess. Drummond, there's one thing sure. Huh? Either you're up to something so deep I can't get to the bottom of it, or you're just plain loco. I can't see which. Sheriff, I've told you everything. Yeah. How I drilled Sam, where? How that storekeeper happened to get mixed up so they gave me an alibi which weren't so. Uh-huh. Now, ain't them things easy to check? Could I know them if I hadn't done the shooting? You couldn't. That's just what has me puzzled. What do you mean? If the authorities in California back up your story, you've plumb dug yourself a grave. 
The way you do a thing like that is clean beyond me. It ain't nothing for you to worry about. Nope, I reckon not. Sheriff! Hey, what's this? Where are you being? What kind of a sheriff do you call yourself? I want that masked Humber jailed. What are you talking and about? And if you don't, you just read my paper next Friday. It'll blister your hide. And I'd like to know what this it's is. fine state of affairs when a man can't walk. Ride into a fellow's place of business and tie him up. I just got loose. Now, hold on, hold on. I don't know what you're talking about. Ain't I telling you? Go on. He walked right in and held a gun on me till I printed that reward dodger and then left me so I could hardly move. Did you say a masked man made you print a reward notice? Hurt me, didn't you? What reward notice, Clem? What do you if mean? If you're interested, you'll find it there in Drummond's pocket. The, that's it? him, Sheriff. That's him. Arrest the polecat. You mean Not that... so fast. Show it to them, Drummond. You, you tricked me. That notice was faked. Right. Then I ain't confessing. You hear me, Sheriff? I'm taking everything back. Drummond, I don't know anything about that notice you fellas are talking about. As far as your confession is concerned, I don't care. You ain't taking nothing back. You said too much. You get locked up. But, Sheriff, I Why, tell you... Sheriff, you'll have the whole mark as well. But when you've written to the law in California and told them the details of Drummond's confession, you'll find he's your man. Then Mark can go free. That's just what I'm going to do. Like fun, you are. You ain't holding me. Now, stop that man. Wait, he won't get away. You can't be sure. You see, Tata was waiting outside. Let go Bring him here, Tata. Let go of me. Let go of me, I tell you. Let go of me. I got him, Redskin. Another break like that, Drummond, and I won't leave enough of you to cast a shed in. I was tricked. If I'd know that notice was faked, I'd never confessed. Yeah, let me have that notice. You can't have it. That's sticking out of that pocket there, Sheriff. I got it. Give me that back. Shut up. You can't well, take it. Well, I'll be it. Just listen to this. Huh? The state of California will pay 5000 in gold to the man or men who bring in Woody Yeager, dead or alive. Yeager is also known by the name of Sam Yates. Sure, that's what the masked man told me the notice would say. Well, doggone. Don't you get it, Sheriff? Drummond killed Sam and framed me for it. Or when he read that notice, the masked man drafted at his place a purpose. It fooled him into thinking he could get paid 5000 by telling the truth. Oh, he was going to claim the reward, though, till he got the, back to California. That way he figured I wouldn't tell the rest of it, how he stole gold from us and how he used to head a gang of hijackers. He figured I'd think he was going to be hanged anyhow and be satisfied. Yeah, well, he will hang. You can And, can't. Drummond, you let this be a lesson to you. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't believe everything you see in print. I just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.